Hey, what trip to Chicago would be complete without a trip to Wrigley Field? I hear they serve hot dogs in there too. Everything about Wrigley Field was just as promised. Second only to Fenway Park in antiquity and charm. This is a historic ball field. I couldn't miss catching a game at Wrigley and having a hot dog. Hey, hey, hot dog man, you put ketchup on your hot dogs? Do not. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wrigley's Roof Talk is supposed to serve some of the best Vienna Beef Chicago dogs in Chicago. So we were definitely going to get our dinner there. They grill them up by the hundreds over here. And you can top them any way you want. Uh, they have the regular Vienna beef dogs and the Polish sausage. Alright, this is our dinner at Wrigley Field. We've got a Maxwell Sweet Polish done up Chicago style and a Chicago and a regular hot dog done up Chicago style. Time to chow down at Wrigley Field. are definitely better dogs than the ones at Fenway. Unfortunately, shortly after eating, the rain came hard. Not a good thing at a baseball game. And the Cubs ground crew couldn't quite get the tarp all the way out. So it made for quite a mess in the infield. The crowd urged the grounds crew on to pull harder, but it just wouldn't work. Finally, to everyone's delight, they decided to fold it back up and start again. Let's see if that's going to work. And here they go for a second attempt. But I think the damage to the infield had already been done. And there, they got it. Too little, too late. Well, the damage had been done. When the rain stopped and they pulled the tarp off, the entire third base side of the field was flooded. They ultimately called the game with Chicago winning after five innings, but the Giants protested. And, for the first time in 28 years, Major League Baseball honored a visiting team's protest. To quote Major League Baseball, an examination of the circumstances of last night's game has led to the determination there was sufficient cause to believe there was a malfunction of a mechanical field device under control of the home club. They, replay they finished the game the next night, and Chicago did prevail, but it was an historic night to be at Wrigley. Good job, Chicago. When do the Red Sox come on? That's the hot dog man, that guy.